in the vast digital void where the nebula of creativity and nostalgia collide lies a challenge to recreate Computer Space, the first arcade video game with 3JS. Prepare yourself for a journey back to the dawn of arcade gaming, where every line of code is a leap through time. Today we're making a game with 3JS and JavaScript. This game is simply a clone of a game called Computer Space, and it's really, really simple. There's just this rocket that flies around and these two little flying saucers. In our case, we'll just have one flying saucer. Let's get started. Get rid of the cube and hemisphere light and sprites. So first of all, let's just get our rocket. Uh, import get rocket. Okay. And I'll save this and there's no errors. I've got the GLBs and the path, I'm going to load them. And when I'm done loading them, I'm going to initialize the scene. And I'm setting up this map. And this map contains both our models once they're loaded and this font data. We're not going to worry about the font data right now, just the models. I am now loading each of those. And then once it's done, I'm going to fire this init scene method, which I haven't defined yet. Let's just define that. Function and it's scene, and we get the scene data. Just moving this animate method inside the get scene function. What's happening? Is there an error? The manager is not defined. Fair enough. We've got a manager and we got a GLTF loader. I do need to import that GLTF. So, all right. Well, we still have an error. Let's check it out. Rocket is not defined. Yeah, that's true. It's not. Let rocket equal null. Boom. I might have a rocket now. I don't see it though. Oh, is it because I have no lights? Here. Lights. Hemi light equals that. Oh, it's just, just a really bright hemi light. Hey, there's my rocket. I like the kind of flat colors. So I haven't set up any controls yet. If model.name equals saucer, then saucer equals get saucer. And scene.add saucer. Let's just duplicate that line. Oh, I need to import get saucer. Like that. Did I add him to the scene? I think he's off screen. He is off screen. I can prove it to you. Inside of get saucer, when I in instantiate him here, I set his position, a Y pause. I randomly in his X position. Let's put it at two. There, there he is. And if I save this, he's gonna have a random Y position each time. These guys need to update. Uh, I think I could just say, inside my animate method, saucer.userData.update, like that. Does that work? I need to pass T in. Let's pass T in. T goes here. Yay, look at that. They're not hit testing yet, so they're just gonna pass right through each other. No problem. Let's wire up the controls for the spaceship. And by the way, let's add another light. Um, sunlight. I think 10 is kind of intense though, don't you think? Oh, I didn't add it to the scene. It is kind of intense. Um, I want those controls. So this is what the controls look like. I've wired up these listeners 
the rocket has key, key up and key down listeners. What's cool about this is the saucer is going to use these listeners too. Put them in here. Um, event listeners. Shoot, I was hoping to just instantly get controls, and I don't, I don't get that. I want this to work. Oh, there's the thrust. Okay, current rocket bolt is not defined in leaderboard. Uh, where's leaderboard? Oh, here. I see. Let's remove this for a second because we're not dealing with leaderboard yet. Um, but current rocket bolt. Let's let's get rid of that too. I should be able to rotate the ship, but I can't. Why not? Why not? Why can't I rotate the ship? And I'm not getting any errors. Rocket. Let's let's just see. Console dot log rotate left, and then we pull up that log. Come in here. Right. I am seeing that. Oh, because I'm not calling update. Here. In my animate method. I want this saucer to be up here. And rocket. Don't need that T. So now I can move around. Can't fire yet though. Let's call it, let's add the Starfield and call it a day. Starfield looks like this. Import get Starfield. Like this. Oh, and then I need to instantiate. Mm -mm, let's do that right above the lights. Const stars equals get Starfield. And then scene.add stars. That did not work. Uh, the circle.png is not found. The way I set up Starfield in here, I'm looking for circle.png in the same directory instead of in a parent directory, assets, like that. And that still fails. I thought it was in here. Circle.png, because it is. Maybe if I do one dot? Yeah, that did it. That's the start of your game. I've loaded up a couple of models, added lights and controls, and I'm animated. The next thing to do would be to have them shoot and do some collision detection, because right now they, they don't collide at all. And, uh, and yeah. Built into the rocket is this, uh, well, ability to wrap around thing. It's very handy. I'm saying uh, inside the update method for the rocket, if you exceed the screen bounds, if you fly off screen left or right or top or bottom, then wrap around. That's it. And that's, that's all for today. Let me know what you think below. A any other comments or suggestions, let me know. Thanks for coming by. Bye.